Good morning and welcome to WWDC. We have a big day of announcements about our latest technologies and platforms. And they certainly did. Tech giant Apple on Monday announced a slew of new features and upgrades to the software running some of its most popular products, such as the iPhone, Apple Watch, and MacBook, while also unveiling an overhaul to its CarPlay system for vehicles, which will now feature a new car dashboard that will display major instruments such as speed and gas mileage. Apple's new MacBook Air will now run on a new M2 silicon processor, which it says is 35% faster than the previous M1 chip. The all-new MacBook Air starts at $1199. The M2 chip will also power the 13-inch MacBook Pro, which will start at $1,299 and be available next month. In addition, Apple introduced a new Buy Now Pay Later system for Apple Pay users, called Apple Pay Later. It will be available anywhere that Apple Pay is accepted and managed through the Apple Wallet. Users will be able to make four equal payments with no interest or fees. When it comes to the iPhone, one of the most notable upgrades in iOS 16 will be an iMessage. Apple has now added an edit button, beating Twitter to a long requested feature. Have you ever sent a message only to immediately realize you didn't quite say what you intended? Well, no worries, because now you can edit any message you just sent. So embarrassing typos can be a thing of the past. Bob O'Donnell president of Technalysis Research, gave some praise to Apple after the presentation. Well, you know, I thought it was great. I mean, I think what we saw Apple doing is doing the real meat and potatoes upgrades that people are looking for. Refinements to iOS, refinements to Mac OS, uh, refinements to the iPad OS, um, things that people have been asking for. Apple did not provide any hints about future devices such as a mixed reality headset. Such a device would be Apple's first entry into a new category of computing device since the Apple Watch shipped in 2015 and would put it in direct competition with Meta, which has disclosed plans for a mixed reality headset code named Cambria to be released this year.